Hi, my name is Martin Ziegner, and together with my fellow student Georg Alexeev, we choose the minimum facility location problem. To illustrate the problem, we choose a real-life example. Amazon is introducing a new service in Germany. It's called Amazon Flex. It's actually a service they are already using in Berlin. Amazon Flex is same-day delivery via private drivers, so instead of using the normal German postal service, they are now going to use private drivers with private cars. And to assure quality and to maximize profits, they have to place the warehouses clever in Germany. There are three factors which are driving their decision. First of all, it's the cost of delivery per kilometers, which is higher than the normal German postal service. Um, then it's the fixed cost per warehouse each month and a building price for a new warehouse. Let me start by explaining the single period algorithm. The warehouses are placed randomly within Germany and the total production cost is calculated. Afterwards, the algorithm will move each warehouse into all four directions possible and calculate the resultant transportation cost. Afterward, it will proceed in the direction where the transportation cost is the lowest, so it will move the warehouses across the map. This procedure is repeated until there is no further reduction possible, so we have a local minimum. And the computer will repeat this algorithm many, many times, and then it will choose the one with the lowest local minimum, also with the lowest transportation cost. Let me now come to our real life solution. We took an approximation of the 79 biggest German cities, all over 100,000 residents, and used the GPS coordinates to put them on the map. And we assumed a distance between the latitudes of 111 kilometers, between the longitudes of 71 kilometers. This is the German average. Then the demand is simulated over several periods and each city within each period has its own growth function. It's a log normal distribution. For the implementation, we used Java because Java is first of all open source and it's very easy for a graphical representation. And a few words to the graphical representation. Uh, on the right, you see the different colors of houses, which will change uh, if the demand is also changing. There are some flaws in our algorithm. Um, it's only approximative because it only takes the 79 biggest German cities into account and they account for 35 million people, so 35 million people instead of 80 million people. Uh, then the products, are, they are delivered per Euclidean distance, so just the air distance, and there are no roads and no road work, of course, no traffic jams, so it's always the easiest way to go. And furthermore, there's no space restriction in the warehouses, so a warehouse can't get full. You only need a new warehouse if uh, the demand is so high that it's uh, reasonable to build a new one. Unfortunately, it has very slow computation because our computational time uh, grows uh, exponentially uh, by the numbers of cities we add and by the number of warehouses we add. And then a real life problem is that the same day delivery, it's not really feasible in reality because if you go beyond a given distance, for example, you place a warehouse in Hamburg, you can't assure that you have a same day delivery by car if the package has to be delivered to Munich. Hello, my name is Georgi Alexeev and I will now briefly present and execute the underlying code. As you can see, we created objects for the cities and for the warehouse. For the warehouse, we only had to specify their X and Y location on the map. For the cities, we also had to specify their name, their longitude, latitude, population and obviously their demand. The X and Y position is calculated from their longi and latitudes respectively. This function, the progress and period function, ensures that the demand changes with each period. The demand ratio will be multiplied with a log normal distributed number. We chose the log normal distribution because it ensures that we cannot get negative demand. Um, this is the main function which will be executed first when we start our program. First, it reads in the cities, their population and their locations from a text document. You can see it here. And we provided each document below the video as well. 
and afterwards it creates the graphical user interface. Uh, this function here calculates the distance between two points in a two-dimensional space with the Euclidean distance function. This function calculates the total transportation costs and it ensures that each city will be uh, uh, delivered with the nearest warehouse in its area. Then we have the minimize function which finds a local minimum within our sample for a given number of warehouses. As you can see, first the warehouses are randomly placed and afterwards this function tries to move them in each of the four directions and checks if the total transportation cost decreases. If they decrease, it will move them into this direction until they increase again and we found our local minimum. The minimize all function tries to approximate the global minimum. It tr uh, triggers the minimize function with multiple different values for the number of warehouses. It asks with one, two, three or five etc. warehouses and will then choose the version with the lowest total transportation costs. This code of line ensures that new warehouses will only be constructed if they will be profitable within 12 months. Everything below this line is only for the graphical user interface. You can look through it if you like to. However, the algorithm is already completed before this function. Now I will execute our software. As you can see, we have a map of Germany with many cities, and this is only our sample value, where we assume that we have 0.1 parcels per person per month. And this results in, for example, in Berlin, in at least 130,000 parcels, as you can see by the red color. If we now try a random solution, it is we find a local minimum, with two warehouses, you can see that the two warehouses are placed on the map and we have total costs of 167,000. You can try it multiple times and you will always get different solutions. And if you if you press the optimize button, the algorithm will search for many, many, many different possible values of warehouses and solutions and will find the best fitting solution. And as you can see, it is four warehouses and a total cost of 126,000 per period. You can try it yourself uh, with seven warehouses, for example, you see this total cost increased. Um, now we will start the simulation. The simulation starts with 0.01 parcels per person per month. And you can specify the standard deviation and the mean of the log normally distributed growth rate. Uh, the construction costs, the overhead costs, the transportation costs per thousand units per kilometers. If you press progress with the next period, you see that the total demand increases. Now we have 280,000 and now we have 283,000. It increases slowly and 330,000. If you want to fast the thing up a little bit, you can progress with the five next five periods. And if we press this button, you will see that the demand increased already to 600,000. And it's still not profitable to build the second warehouse. Therefore, we progress with the next five periods again. And we progress again. We've got a total demand of 800,000, um, 1 million. Still, we do not require more than one warehouse. And right now it's profitable to build the second warehouse. As you can see that we have many high demand in this area, which is one potential uh, observation because the demand increases log normally distributed and it's randomly. If we progress again with five periods, the algorithm solves for the next solution and you can press this button as many times as you like. And you can also specify different values for the overhead costs. If we reduce them, increase the total transportation costs, it is likely that it will be profitable to build a new warehouse. And of course, now we have four warehouses. As you can see, our algorithm is not completely flawless. However, it approximates the solution very well. 
and it gives an overview of potential situations. 